Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about full adder. Full adder is a combinational circuit that performs the addition of three bits. When we add three bits, if two of them is zero and one is one, the result would be one, right? When we add three bits in which two are one, and 1 is 0 then the result would be 1 0 here a carry is produced when we add 3 bits and all 3 bits are 1 then the result would be 1 1 right that is a binary number whose decimal value is 3 here a carry is produced so a full adder is a combinational circuit which performs the addition of three bits. So this full adder must have three input variables and two output variable. Here we have three input variables x, y and z. Right. X and Y represents the bits to be added and Z represents the carry from the previous lower significant position. Output variables are S and C. S is the symbol for sum and C is the symbol for carry. Now see when we perform addition in decimal number system. Look at here. Here we have to a add 38 with 47 so first of all we will add 8 and 7 the result would be 50 right so least significant digit is 5 and 1 would be the carry right now here we have to add three digits one is the carry second is the 3 and third is the 4 right so the result would be 1 plus 3 plus 4 that is 8. So in full adder, two input variables represent the bits to be added and third one that is z. It represents the carry from the previous lower significant position. Now. This is the truth table which represents the relationship between input variables and output variables. X, Y and Z are the input variables. C and S are the output variables. C is the symbol for carry, S is the symbol for sum. S represents the least significant bit of the sum of X, Y and Z. C represents the carry produced. When all these three bits, x, y, and z are zero, right, then their sum will also be zero. So the value of s will be zero and c will also be zero. When one bit is one and other two bits are zero, right, the, then the value of sum would be one. So the value of s would be one and the value of c would be zero because here no carry will be produced. When one bit is zero and two bits are one, then their sum would be one zero. Right. Now in this case, a carry has been produced. So the value of C would be one, right? And the value of S, which represents the least significant bit of the sum of X and Y and Z would be zero. But when all three bits are one, right, then their sum would be one one. In that case, a carry would be produced. So the value of C would be one. And the least significant bit, that is S, right? Least significant bit S, right? Of the sum of X and Y and Z, 
will also be 1. Now we have to define the boolean functions for these two output variables. Now first of all we will obtain a boolean function for output variable s. So first of all we will check for what values of x, y and z the value of s is 1. Now in these rows which are marked by red value of s is 1. Now we have to find the min terms corresponding to these values of x, y and z for which the values of s is 1. So the min term corresponding to these values that is x equal to 0, y equals to 0 and z equals to 1 would be x0, y0, z. In this row also the value of s is 1. So the min term corresponding to these values of x, y and z is x0, y, z0. In this row also the value of s is 1. So the min term corresponding to this combination of value of x, y and z is x, y0, z0. In this row also the value of s is 1. So the min term corresponding to this values of x, y and z is x, y, z. So s could be expressed as the sum of four min terms. That is x0, y0, z, x0, y, z0, x, y0, z0 plus x, y, z. Right. Now we have to obtain the Boolean function for output variable c. Now check for what values of x, y and z the value of c is 1. In these rows which are marked by black, right, the value of c is 1. Min term corresponding to this value of x, y and z is x0, y, z0. Min term corresponding to this value of x, y and z is x, y0, z. And min term corresponding to this value of x, y and z is x, y, z0. And min term corresponding to this value of x, y and z is x, y, z. Right? So, C would be expressed as the sum of four min terms. That is, x0, y, z, x, y, not, z, x, y, z, not, x, y, z. So C would be the sum of these four min terms. x0, y, z, plus x, y, not, z, plus x, y, z, not, plus x, y, z. These two. Now look at these two terms. These two differ by only one variable. That is z. Here z appears in its complement form and here z appears in its normal form. So the sum of these two min terms would be x, y, right, and ended with z0 plus z. We know that z0 plus z equals to 1. So it would become x, y, right. And in these two terms x0, y, z plus x, y, not z. Here we have taken common z. So what we left inside in the bracket x0, y plus x, y0. It is an exclusive or function. That is x is xor with y. x xor y. Right. We know that x xor y equals to x0, y plus x y naught. So z x or with the result of x x or y would be equal to z naught ended with x y naught plus x naught y plus z ended with the complement of x naught y plus x y naught. Look at here x naught y plus x y naught is an exclusive or function that is x x or y. Its complement would be an equivalence function that is x0 y0 plus x y right 
so it would become x y naught z naught plus x naught y z naught right plus z ended with x naught y naught plus x y which would be equal to x y naught z naught plus x naught y z naught plus x naught y naught z plus x y z right and it is equals to s right look at here what the s is here the s equals to x naught y naught z plus x naught y z naught plus x y naught z naught plus x y z so the z s is so the s is equals to z xor with the result of x xor y and what the c is c is equals to z ended with x naught y plus x y naught plus x y right so now we have to draw the logic diagram for full adder here there will be three input variables x y and z right first we will xor x and y right now this xor gate performs the xor operation right what it is doing it is implementing x xor y right so the result of this xor gate is x xor y now the result of x xor y should be xor with z now the output of uh, this gate is connected to the input of this xor gate and second input of this xor gate is z so here z is xor with the result of x xor y now look at here c equals to z ended with x not y plus x y not now here it is an xor function that is x xor y so here the output of this gate right this xor gate is x not y plus x y not it is ended with z right now in C this term is odd with x and y now this is the AND gate output of this AND gate is x and y right now the output of this AND gate and output of this AND gate are connected to the input of this OR gate whose output is c right output of this xor gate is s and output of this or gate is c thank you very much